So I arrived by train from Bangkok to Hua Hin Station, and then it was a short hop to my stay for tonight, which is the Do Sit D2 Hotel. And the staff will check you in sitting down on a comfortable seat, and you can see a member of staff doing just that through the door. They also provide you with a welcome drink, and they're very knowledgeable, and they tell you everything about the hotel. One feature of this hotel is the garden outside. We'll have a look at that greenery very shortly indeed. But after my long journey on the train, I got straight up to the room. My room was on the fifth floor, and as you'd expect, it's a key card entry to get in. And the Dusit D2 gets a nine score out of ten on a Goda, which is how I booked. It's rated as exceptional. And at the moment, you'd expect to pay under 2,000 baht for a double room. So the cheapest rooms are the deluxe twin room. Have a look at that here. And my room was a deluxe king room. That is 30 square meters. Now, of course, at that price, it doesn't include breakfast. That would cost you an extra 400 baht for two people. But they also have an interesting promotion that they call a delightful getaway. And in that promotion, which comes in at 3,000 baht, you get your breakfast included, but you also get some dinner. You can take that as a set lunch for two courses for two people, or you can have it as a set dinner. Anyway, it sounded a bit different, so I've booked in for that. And call me crazy. Crazy. Well, okay. But the thing that I really liked was the styling, all those curves. Everywhere you look in the room, particularly in the corners, they've included curves. And I think the curves started to drive me more crazy than usual. Got curves in the corner. Also, you might notice on the bed the sign there that says that they won't change the bed sheets or the towels every day to save the environment if you fancy that the air conditioning was modern and quiet and it was efficient as well you've got some nice wood styling you've also got a big full-length mirror you've got a smart flat screen tv and then you've got one seat to sit on. You'd have to share that with a table. And once again, I'm seeing curves there. Maybe it's the circular table and the trendy looking chair, but I love it. You've got some more curves there on the decoration of the panelling. What's in the fridge? Well, good news is there are things in the fridge. Spoiling my fun slightly, it's a glass fronted fridge, but I can see two types of beer, a soda water, standard water and a few snacks. You do have to pay for everything but the complimentary water. As you'd expect in a hotel of this standard, you've got a good in-room safe, a flashlight, you've got room to hang up your clothes and some wooden hangers provided for you. You've got two large mugs, I do like that, and a couple of snacks there to buy for tea and coffee making facilities. And looking out towards the balcony, you've got thick curtains and neck curtains. And the view across Hua Hin, well, it's quite pleasant. It certainly gives you the away from it all type of feel. The Wi Fi was free, fast, and efficient. And moving into the bathroom, very modern styling, again in keeping with the rest of the room, the rectangular shape hand basin there you've got a bum gun next to the toilet you've also got a telephone if you want to phone reception whilst you're taking a um, rest from the world you've got a shower with two heads and then go downstairs and you go outside to what is the garden you can see in the background there there's a children's playroom there's plenty of grass and bushes and places to sit you've got a children's swimming pool in that area It literally is a little oasis away from the hustle and bustle of any city. It might not look so much, but I think it's very pleasant if you can have a green space like that to sit in. Back up in the accessibility friendly lift and we're going to take a look at the swimming pool. This hotel is kind of famous for its swimming pool. It's got stunning views. It's got like jacuzzi parts of the pool. It's got places to sit some shade they will come and serve you drinks and snacks at your lounger or at your chair and it's kind of an infinity pool and it is quite beautiful next to the swimming pool is the fitness room so you'll get some great views from that it's a fully equipped room enough to keep you nice and fit 
and then I took the lift to look at one of the other floors. And this is where the restaurant is. This is where you can take your lunch if it's included or you can have it for dinner. I chose to have the set menu where there is a choice for the dinner. You do get some nice views. There's lots of large glass windows. It's been very well designed. And even the food, I mean, look at that. That is very nicely presented. That's the dessert. I'm not quite sure what that was, but it tasted good. So I thought that if there were two of you would be good value for money. And it's the same place that you'd go back to in the morning to take your breakfast. There's a full buffet breakfast. As we're walking in, we can see some healthy options, including the salad. We can see various types of eggs. You can see croissant and toasting bread. The croissant there and the pancakes and the waffles, they're kept warm. There's also some cold meats and there's plenty of crispy bacon. So that gets a good mark in my book. You've also got some Asian cuisine. So if you come with a Thai friend or an Asian colleague, then they won't be disappointed either. All of the food is kept nicely warm. I don't like buffet breakfast where the food is getting cold. This was nicely kept warm, as you can see. Good selection of dishes. These are some of the more Asian style ones and then they will cook you food such as fresh eggs so I ordered my scrambled egg as I always like and she cooked it for me in front of my eyes. Staff are very polite, staff are very helpful, always there with a ready smile and of course most importantly at breakfast time they have some excellent coffee made by the coffee machine. This morning I decided to go for the hot latte. And there you have it, some bacon, some scrambled eggs, some nice toast and some coffee. You can also get various types of fruit juices. I tried a couple of those. You've got some cereal. You've got some iced chocolate. All in all, the breakfast gets top marks. And then it was time to check out. If you'd like to see how I arrived in Hua Hin by train, have a look at this video here. If you'd like to see how I got back by bus, have a look at this video. And if you'd like to see a different hotel in Hua Hin, take a look at this one. Otherwise, do subscribe to help the channel. But for now, it's bye-bye from me in Hua Hin. See you very soon. Bye-bye.